sofa6.co.uk sponsors of the haze out yes it's us hello good evening and welcome to thursday february the 7th 2013 you had is, to think there, didn't I know you? I <laughs> where does the time yes, go i know Two years and a day since we started. Do you know on the 25th of February is my first vaping anniversary? 25th of Feb? 25th of Feb. 20, now that, that is coincidental. Why is that? Because that is when the EU starts debating all the rubbish about the... Uh, yes. Which is rubbish. It absolutely is rubbish mm -hmm. as well. Yes, but mm -hmm. that coincidentally, or yes. your, your first vaping anniversary... Mm -hmm. That's when they start doing that, oh, it is. which is, is a bit of a burglar, really. Mm. I have a running order, you know. Right. And we're going to be looking at all kinds tonight. And basically, flying by the seat of our pants, it's going to be one of those shows tonight. And the show is called... The Here's Hour. That's what it's called. Hello, here we are on the Here's Hour. Now, before we go any further, you'll probably have gathered that this is not Keith. No. 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 It's Daz. It's Daz. Daz is not Keith. If you look at that camera, you can say hello and people will be able to say you straight on. Hello to people in the internet world are from Dazcam. There you go. Um, Keith is not with us tonight, as he said last week, and may not be with us next week either. Um, he's a busy man, and not only busy, he's also slightly poorly. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed for him. I'm not going to, not going to say what the problem is because that would be most ungentlemanly. Um, so we'll not go any further with that. But suffice it to say, we'll keep our fingers crossed that we'll see Keith next week with a little bit of luck or in a fortnight's time. But Daz, yes. I wanted to ask you live on air, mm -hmm. do, you fancy a, do you fancy a threesome? <laughs> Depends on what context that is. Well, it would be separated by a coffee table. All right, that's okay. Then. One at the head and two at the sides. Mm -hmm. I'm not really bothered who's at the head and who's at the sides. That's I just fine. thought it'd be nice if we kind of had a threesome on a here's our night. That would be really good. Be all right with that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm kind of hoping that the people in chat might like that as well. Chat, if you like that idea, shout yes. And they will. They will. They will. They will. Because they, they love you to bits, which is all good. And they love Keith to bits. Yes. So I'll be able to leave the pair of you talking. Aye. Aye. Just diddle off, Aye. as you do. You do just push buttons and we'll do all the rest. That's yeah, and do all of that. Push yeah. the buttons, mm -hmm. push the buttons and do all the rest. Mm -hmm. Talking about pushing buttons, I happen to know that the EVIC 1.2 came out. Mm -hmm. But what thrilled me rather more than anything, and people may or may not know this, I'm a Mac man. That's what I am. I'm a Mac man. No. I like Apple Macs. And... I got a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Perplexed that the uh, the software originally for the EVIC didn't come out on Mac, but now it has. And version 1.2, yeah, everybody's saying, yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yeah, they're all there. Disco Des has said, Apple fanboy. I think the word is yes. There's yes, all Macs. Once you go a Mac, you never go black. That's no, true. you never go back. That's true. Or oh, black, mac, mac, what? <sighs> I'd love to know what my wife put in this Diet Coke. <laughs> but never mind, never mind. Yes, they've got it out on Mac and uh, at version 1.2. And I thought it might be nice to share. So I've, I've got a Mac up here. And um, there you are. There's the Mac. And here's the EVIC that goes along with the Mac. And I think most people 
by now will probably know that there's a nice little USB socket on the side which doesn't take a standard normal mini um, what do you call it USB mm -hmm. but takes one of the micro ones which is the little the little flat unit so if I plug that in to there like that the software will reckon out that it is there and uh, and then we can actually get on and do something with the software so let's do exactly that and if we go to um, device info for instance it tells me it's just charging. Brilliant, it hasn't seen it. So I perhaps need to unplug and replug. It may see it now. Wouldn't you just know? This is always the case, isn't it? Just so people can see what's, there yeah, we go. It's working now, that's good. So now that we've got that in there, brilliant, there we are. Um, as you'll be able to see, we've got the product name, the software version, I've already taken it up to 1.2. Um, it's telling you that the atomizer is at 1.6 ohms and there's 748 milliamp hours left in my battery. That is really clever. Well, it all comes from how you set it up. Mm -hmm. So if we go, for instance, to vapor set, these are the new modes that are there, and go to switch, for instance. Over here on this right hand side, you can see it's got VW, VV, MVRVV. Right. and MVRVW. Mm -hmm. um, VV is self-explanatory. Yeah. It's variable voltage. VW is also self-explanatory. Mm -hmm. um, and that is, uh, what would you call it? It's, well, it's variable voltage. But when you get to MVRVV and MVRVW, then you start to talk about something a little bit different. Right. And let's go to MVRVW to start with. And what you'll see along here is a wattage and then seconds along the bottom. So here, for instance, I've got it set to start at 9 watts. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been using this around about 7 right. most of the time. So I've got it set to start at 9 watts for half a second. Right. And then at 0.6 seconds, it drops to 7.5 watts and then goes down to 7.1, because as I say, I've been running it at 7 watts mm -hmm. for pretty much the rest of the time, and I can just change it here to 7 watts. It's just drop downs, and that'll, it'll carry on for as long as you like. Press modify, and that goes, as you can see there, off to your EVIC. Right. So that means when you come to use it, you can then, basically, you can decide based on how you've been using the whole malarkey, um, how best to make your, your, your EVIC work for you. Right. Now, it probably, I don't think it would apply to something like the MT3 that you've got there. No. Because that seems, to me at any rate, they seem quite happy with just the 3.7 and then on it goes. Yes. But if you're using a Genesis, mm -hmm. for instance, you might, if it's a thick wick, mm -hmm. you know, a, 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 a large diameter yeah. wick, you might need a little bit of extra at the front just to heat the mesh up quicker mm -hmm. and then drop down to something that might last you a bit better. Right. Now, we'll talk about the mid and how that's going to be changing in mm -hmm. a little while, but I reckon most people will only need one mm -hmm. because everybody's kind of got a favourite, haven't they? Yeah. You know? I, I, I have to admit, I mean, I'm, I am going to be getting one and it's like, the only way that I, I can describe with the EVIC is it's like, something that you would buy but that you would or it when there's an upgrade about it's like you're always having a new evic yeah well i mean the initial one coming out mm -hmm. was not brilliant mm. it has to be said it was the, the menus were tortuous and so on and so forth 1.1 changed all of that and this new version 1.2 yeah which runs on pc and mac that's the great thing about it mm. for me um means that you can tailor this anywhere you like. Let, let's, we'll go back to, to where we were with it, shall we? And, and, yeah. and, and see, see where it goes. So having done all of that, you can then go into a mode part of this. Right. And it's got manual and auto. Mm -hmm. Now this took me quite by surprise because I thought what it meant was it had a suck detector. 
right. like an auto battery. Yes. And it hasn't, unfortunately. What happens in auto, if you set it into auto, you set a number of seconds. Say, well, let's say seven seconds. All right? Mm -hmm. And then click modify. And it's written that. So if I go back to a, a big shot and unplug this thing from here, when I switch it back on, it's in MVRVV. Right. And if you then press the button in manual, Oh, it's gone auto. Hey, that's very clever, that. It'll run for seven seconds. Right. And then stop. So you can press the button. Mm hmm And then afterwards, you don't have to keep your finger on the button. That's very clever. I'm not sure... Not sure how clever that is. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure at all how clever that is. I don't know whether it's something I'm going to use because I had thought it would be, I had thought that it was perhaps going to be a fully auto battery. And it's not something I'm particularly that keen on. Do you think for the, the life of the battery, like for, for however long the battery's got the charge, mm. if you had your, will it make a difference in the use, in how quick the battery drains, if you had it on auto or manual, or would it be entirely the same, do you think? This is an interesting one, and I've been trying to get my head into how um, the people at Joytech have been thinking. Mm -hmm. And if you if you think about puff count coming up, for instance, as a, as, a, as a starting point, for the life of me, I couldn't actually think why they wanted a puff count. Why why would you want to know how many drags you were taking a day? I mean, is, have you ever thought about that? No. Not something. Not, not really. I mean, I know, I'm, I'm aware of them, but it's not something that it would be interesting to see. But from that's probably as much as it would be. I'll admit that's never out my hand. Um, so it would be purely from an interesting point of view. But that's about as far as it goes to me of saying, all right, I've took this amount of drags from my e sig today. Um, but that's probably, personally for me, that would be as far as it goes. Yeah, I'm, I'm ambivalent about the yeah. whole thing. I don't know whether it's, whether it's useful or not. But when I thought about it, this auto routine of mm. setting it for, say, seven seconds, or six seconds, five seconds, up to nine seconds, mm. and you, you sort of think, well, yeah, I suppose what you, they're, they're, they're kind of giving you the tools to, if you want to, mm -hmm. limit yourself. Mm -hmm. Or if you know that you've got um, uh, an atomizer that you can draw for six seconds, but if you go for six and a half, it gets dry mm -hmm. at the end, you could maybe set it for that kind of thing. Um, that, that, that kind of ilk of thing. I, I, but yeah. other than that, I don't really see um, a, a massive use mm. for it. it it's, it's there and it's handy. Yeah. And it's there if you want to use it. But with all of, the, all of these things, you don't have to use it unless you want to. Did I hear... I don't know if I heard right, so correct me if I'm wrong, but did I hear that it will automatically choose the best wattage depending on what you put on it? Oh, that's where I'm, I'm coming to Sorry. that. I'm going to come Sorry. to that. But no, 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 it's fine. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is go back to manual on this one. And uh, Do you have to set all them settings up through that software, or can you do some of them on the EVIC? You well? can do some of it on the EVIC. Um... And, and but the the, uh, the setting of that that whole starting at nine mm -hmm. watts and whatever you do in the software. In the software. That that happens in the software, yes. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, if we go go back to uh, switch, um, no, I'm in the wrong place. Go to device info. Mm -hmm. And go into is it general or user info? Into user info, you've got all of that. All the user info is there. Um, in configuration is where you put all the rest of the stuff. Right. So, for instance, I'm using the uh, the usual GCR eighteen six fifty, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and they're twenty two hundred. So you can put a custom milliamp hour in. Great. I want the screen on for one minute, mm -hmm. and then it can go off. Mm -hmm. Or you can set it to go on and never go off. Right. Do all of that, or however many minutes you want, completely customizable. Mm -hmm. System wise. I let it go 75 minutes. 
right. before it goes to sleep on the basis that if I haven't used it in 75 minutes, I'm either using something else or I'm asleep. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, I'm at that stage now. You, you, get, to, uh, you get to 25, <laughs> as, as I did a while ago. And on an afternoon, sometimes you just drift off to the land of Nod, you yeah. know. Um, I've, I've heard about that. Yes, it's, it's catnapping. Yeah. Catnapping. Um, so, yes, it, it's kind of that's if, if we get to 75 minutes, I'm definitely asleep. Mm. Um, which is fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. And then at the bottom of there, we've got this current, the, the temperature. Um, currently, it's at 35 degrees centigrade. Right. I've got mine set here to 50. So it gets to 50 degrees before it decides it's not going to play any further, which, again, is all good. Yeah. Um, you can change the calendar about. I tend not to bother with that particularly much, but it is 2116, it says here. Mm -hmm. It's the... Uh, the whole bit about, I mean, here's all the stuff that, that, that allows you to see how many puffs you've had during, well, February's no damn good, because we're barely into it, but January should have a whole load of information in there, the puffs and everything else. Wow. Take it by weeks and by days, all that sort of stuff. And connecting it up, we'll get the new, the new data, so that'll just bring it all in, and then mm -hmm. that'll populate the whole thing, because I've flattened it. Um, 1,700 records right. since I updated it last week. So there's been 1,700 drags on it, right. effectively, since last week. Um, but yeah, it, it's kind of all that, all, the, all the, the things that you would want to change. So you're asking about setting the, the initial wattage. Yes. If you're in just VW, then there you would see it's got set wattage. Mm -hmm. And in this case, it's set at 6.8. Yes. But that's easily changed. Set it to seven, modify, and it writes it out with the data. And it's actually, it is as easy as that. And that's, that's pretty much how it works. So mm. that if I now take the thing to, uh, send the thing to sleep and uh, put it back up here and I'll switch it off, you'll see it's there at seven watts. Yeah. Yeah? I don't know whether everybody at home can see that. Can you? It's seven watts? Um, no, probably not. The light will not get no. it. Yeah, we've got it there. We've got it there. Seven watts. So that's because I've set that in the software. That's what it'll go to, and it's uh, it's it, it's useful enough. You know, if you know where you like it to be, it's going to be there. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, I mean, you can you can also set the home screen so that it's a calendar or watch. Mm -hmm. Or I've got it set so it shows me what wattage I'm running at. Yeah how many volts that is and what the resistance is, mm -hmm. which is exactly what the Darwin yeah, does. Yeah, that's what I would want as well. It's exactly what the Darwin yeah. does. So to all, to all intents and purposes, what I now have is a cylindrical, tubular... Darwin. Pretty much. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's got, got the same kind of wattage range um, and, and it's doing the job really nicely. Absolutely. So in, in terms of um, usability and what have you, mm -hmm. this upgrade for me is, uh, is cracking. Mm -hmm. Now, I happen to know these are sold in two versions. Right. Yes, not many people know that. No. No. There's the Joytech one and there's the Avali one. Right. And I don't know whether there's any differences, but we'll find out on Sunday... Mm -hmm. Dave, Dave Kitson's got, got an Avali yes, one. He's just got one. And I'm itching to discover yes. whether there's any difference between the Avali and the Joytech. Mm. And I, I've got a snaking suspicion that there will be, but I've got no idea what it will yeah. be. And it's I'm just I'm I'm itching for Sunday now to find out. Mm. And I'm I'm hoping that Dave finds the time to look at it and, and well, sort it out. From, from what I've seen he, he was uh, in, in chat earlier, I know that he's been, he was heavily looking into it, so... Have you seen what he's put in <laughs> chat? Better. He's put in minds better. <laughs> well, that's good, because he, he, he mustn't have took a blowtorch to it or anything like that. What, you so, mean the world's noisiest yeah, blowtorch? The, the world's noisiest blowtorch, uh, exactly it has right, to be said, yeah. Exactly right. <laughs> oh, well, um, I, like I say, I mean, I, I, I'm seriously, seriously wanting to see whether yeah. there are any differences yeah, absolutely. Um, because I, and I think that would be useful information for everybody to have um, as well but as I say this it was a dog 
the first incarnation of this was a dog. Mm. 1.1 sorted it out and got it working yeah. with VW and now this VV, MVR, VV, yeah. MVR, VW and MVR, yeah. it's, there's something there for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's, uh, I think it's cracking. I'm absolutely. really quite impressed. And, ooh, better take some adverts. We'll take yeah. some adverts and we'll be back in one minute and 49 seconds. We'll see you then. And we're back in the room and welcome back to the Here's Hour here on VaporTrails.tv with me, David Dawn, and my associate. That's a very long word at this time of the evening. Indeed it is. Darren Johnson, the pair of us together. Vaping does if you're uh, on the forums or Twitter, yep. oh, Facebook, most of the places, yeah. Google Plus, Aye. all over the places, like around the forums and everywhere. I just Google. I Googled my name the other day and there's more than 10 pages containing my name. So. Well, you've Googled yourself. I've Googled you myself. You dirty beast. I couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. First time I did it, and I nearly fainted. Yeah, I, I, I had exactly the same experience when I was 13. Yep. I went and told my mum I've Googled yep. myself. <laughs> She smacked us around the chops. I've got no idea why. It's shocking, really. Shocking, really. We're talking about forums and, and stuff like that. There's been uh, a lot of folks lately asking about diacetyl. And I said I would try and cover this to some degree um, because there are one or two issues, it has to be said. Um, and I want to bring up our web page and show everybody this because when I saw it, I nearly had kittens and uh, if I bring it up you might easily see why and I've, I've gone and hidden the name but I'll take my face out of it in just a second so you can see where it's at. This is an e-cig site, in fact I'll, I'll take myself out of it, it's an e-cig site. Right. They sell e-cigs, right. they sell e-cigs and they sell juice Yes. and they sell the stuff, the flavourings mm -hmm. for juice and you can see here that this is butter by Flavor Art, select size, starting at $3.99, which tells you it's not in the UK. Add a drop of butter flavoring to your favorite recipe for all the flavor without the saturated fat and cholesterol on an e-cig site. And then look at that, that I've just highlighted. It says, warning, this flavor contains diacetyl and or related diketones and is not suitable for vaping is what it says, right? Right. Why the hell are they selling it? Yeah. I mean, what is diacetyl? Diacetyl is the substance that was discovered to be responsible for what they've called popcorn lung. Right. There is a proper name for it. Mm -hmm. um, and it with ob obfuscutans, it, it's Latin name that basically says your lungs are knackered mm -hmm. and it'll kill you. 
it can kill you. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what happens is it scars all the little alveoli, you know, the right. little yes. tiny little berries. Yes. Yeah, scars all of those so that they're no use to you. So that they just they basically don't work mm -hmm. anymore, and you can end up with lung function, well, lung non-function. Mm -hmm. You know, um, and this is. They've gone to the extent, I, I was reading up about this uh, last Friday and Saturday. All of the popcorn factories, it, it's, it, it's perfectly safe to eat. Mm -hmm. It's fine to eat. Mm -hmm. Not an issue with eating it. Yes. And it's in all kinds of stuff mm -hmm. and it's fine to eat. But if you inhale it, if you breathe it in, if you get it into your lungs, mm -hmm. mashes yeah. them up. And, and all of these factories now, uh, seemingly... Um, a you, the usual kind of commercial face mask mm -hmm. is no good. That doesn't do the business for you. Mm. It needs a, a full isolation filtration because apparently the molecular sizes of it, it's tiny. Mm. And, but it's, it's the kind of stuff that they're basically what the, uh, the commercial operations are doing is saying, none, zero, nada, you can't breathe it in. Mm. It's just, you just can't because they know it's extremely serious. And there's a guy down south I think he's just been awarded £100,000. 29-year-old and knackered. And he was just packaging the powder. Mm. And he had all of the, you know, because they've got to put the masks on when you're dealing with powders. Yes. Had all of that on, didn't make a hit with a difference. Popcorn lung, done him. So he's got a hundred grand for that. Yeah. And then you see something like that, a, 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 an e-cig site, they're selling flavourings, juices, everything to do mm. your bits yourself. And rather than not put something with this, this horrible stuff in there, mm. they're selling it and then saying, but it's not suitable for vaping. And I can't understand why anybody would do that. Well, it's, it's, in a sense, I would say it's definitely, it, it, it's worrying. And because when it comes to it's stuff like the EU coming up, these are, the, these are exactly the kind of things that we don't want now because it's the things that are going to damage the e-cig reputation in the future. Absolutely. I, I, I agree with you 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bottom line on it is we've pretty much, certainly in the UK, we've got our house pretty much yes. in order, I think. Mm -hmm. There might be one or two little rogues around the place, mm -hmm. but generally speaking, the ducks are in a row in the UK. It just needs one or two more people like yeah. that. Exactly. You know, and, mm -hmm. and, and the ducks are suddenly out of a row, the domino effect goes. Mm. And let's face it, we've seen over the last little while that uh, the, the, the folks that are anti e will pick on anything they can pick up on. See, I, I do go on forums, but I, I'm not the biggest person for forums, which is why people don't see a lot of my posts in forums. Now, I'm not saying that, I'm not a beginner, but I'm not an expert. Mm. And if I was a beginner, not going in forums, it's worrying to see how many people out there may buy something like that without knowing the consequences of it's all right. what could possibly what could possibly happen. So you'd be pretty moment there. <laughs> what could possibly happen in the future, you know, because of the fact that you know, some just something like that. It's it's unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I can't scroll back in chat, but I've just seen that that site was founded by a doctor. Really? I've got to check this. It's in the About Us on their site. Let's just have a mm. look at the About Us. If I can find it, if it's, if it's the same site. I'm not seeing an About Us. I've got to say. Contact us. Conditions of use. No, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not saying what the hell's fallen. What? I've got no idea. You've got a ghost or something. Place is dropping to bits. <laughs> anyway, yes. Let's. Uh, we'll we'll leave that for further discussion a little yeah. bit further down the road. But I did think that it was something that perhaps we absolutely no. needed to uh, to discuss and, yeah. and and bring to people's attention. So basically, diacetyl is not a good thing, and. It's just not worth chancing it. I'm sure there's worse things in cigarettes. Yeah. I'm absolutely certain there's worse things in cigarettes, yeah. but we know diacetyl, basically what they're saying is there's no allowed yeah. limit of it, so let's just not go stay there. Stay clear, folks. Yeah, stay, clear. stay absolutely clear. Um, yes, where, uh, where I was going to go after that, I said, was the mid. 
The mid, yes. The mid. So let's let's do that. Let's look at the mid. And again, this is all to do with. Well, it's not around yet, is it? No, it's not. It's not. But I just. It's been delayed in actual fact. Yes. And I. I I'd been quite looking forward to, by now, having both the mid and the EVIC side by side. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it would appear from what I've been seeing, Janty might have liked that as well, mm -hmm. because they've been making a lot of changes. Yes. Now, if you remember, when the EVIC first came out, they were telling everybody, they were very keen on the fact, in mm -hmm. fact, that uh, it would have... Uh, a, a, a stacked battery configuration mm -hmm. and here is the Janty site and again I'm looking far too big on it but never mind let's scroll it all down and we, I think everybody knows about vaping profiles mm -hmm. which strangely the EVIC now has one of right right um, and we know that when we get a little bit further down it says give me power now this is there's the change there's the first of the changes I noticed mm -hmm. and if you look I'll take myself out of the picture again. If you look, you can see dual blast. Yes. Mid can be powered by two high-performing Hydrian mid-cell HD Pro in series batteries. In series is the other word for stacked, of course. Yes. Um, but now you will see single blast. Mm -hmm. Mid can be powered by a single cell Hydrian battery. Mid one will also work with off-the-shelf lithium ion batteries with the follow specifications. Battery dimensions, well, it's 18650, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Maximum discharge current as per battery specification must be four, pardon me, <laughs> four amps or more. Note, and here's, here's the thing, a software module feature will be released that will allow the user to limit the maximum current of the mid in order to safely use batteries which are less than four amps. Now, forgive me for saying this, but... Does that not seem a little bit follow to you? Yes. As in, the Avix out there, mm -hmm. and apparently it's doing very well, mm -hmm. and when you look at what the mid offers... In comparison. In terms of stack batteries, mm -hmm. and a lot of people just don't like the idea of stack batteries. Mm. And I must admit, when I did an off-the-page comparison of the two, mm -hmm. I saw... I don't think I fancy stack batteries. No. But then you notice the VAMO mm -hmm. can be run with stack batteries. Yes. I'm going to ask chat if they will, please. Can you, if you've got a VAMO or if you've got um, uh, a Zmax, because the Zmax will run with two stacked as well. Yes. If you've got either of those, only if you run stack batteries, can you type the word stack? Only if you run with two stack batteries, can you type the word stack, please? And then we'll see, we'll know whether anybody uh, actually does run stacked batteries in their VAMO. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six people six. out of, well, it says 72 online. And I, if you don't stack, type single, please. Eight. There's seven. Yes. If you don't stack, Type single, please. And then we've got some idea. We here they go. Yeah. There they go. Look at that. There you go. Single, single, yeah. single, 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 single. So it, it looks as though the predominant mm. way of doing it is single. More people prefer single than stacked. So now it looks as though the Janty Mid is going to have single and multi-cell configurations. Mm -hmm. More to the point, they're also going to give um, soft. Well, I'm saying give. They'll produce software modules that will allow the one or two battery configuration of your mid, as well as multi chemistry battery configuration, so you can even tell it what kind of battery it is. Right. So, somebody did say earlier on uh, about the Evic that it was way too technical for them. I think they probably don't want to get hold of a mid. No. Absolutely not. But I am going to say, I'm itching to get my mitts on one to see whether it will actually live up um, to the promises that have been made on that. Yeah. Because it, I'm an inveterate tinkerer. Mm. And when it comes to technology, I love that kind of stuff. But, I mean, Daz, are, are, are you tempted by the, uh, the yeah. mid? 
I'm more tempted for the EVIC because I've, I've heard the mid bantered about, but I haven't looked into the mid to be to be able to make the like a, a more informed decision. Uh -huh. um, yes, I would. I'm really glad, like, with you pointing out about the batteries because if they had been doing the mid with just a stack, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have. I've even contemplated it because I've never. I'm not saying that anything about stack batteries, but I've just never ever stacked them. I've always been used to a single battery. Mm -hmm. So if I had seen something for a device that took just stacked. I wouldn't have even entertained it. Now that it's got single, I would definitely look into it before me. Well, I've already made the decision to get an EV, but I would definitely look into it um, to see about the possibility of getting one. Well, I will say just to put everybody's mind at rest that the likelihood of a an error in a mm. properly protected mm. electronic mod yeah. with stacked batteries, the likelihood of it going postal yeah. would, is, is very, very slim. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's most unlikely to happen. Mm. Um, and even then, it's it's more likely to be down to a faulty battery yes. mm -hmm. or mismatched batteries yeah. Yeah. than anything else. If, if, you, if you stick with the batteries for the job, the likelihood, yeah. likelihood is you're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But I do know that there's just, there's just a lot of people that have got no real desire to go to stock because they're, yes. just, they're being that little bit cautious. Yeah. And, and in all honesty, there's nothing wrong with that. The thing, that, as well as that, I mean, you know, some people are happy with stock, excellent, but, you know, I just, if it takes an 18650, it's just as easy for me to get something that takes an 18650 because it's something that I'm used to doing. Well, I've got to be honest. I mean, everything, I'm, I've, I've got nothing yeah. out that's mm -hmm. stacked. Exactly. The only one mod I have that uses batteries in series is a Gary Dibley 5 volt box mod. Yes. That's the only one I've got. And mm -hmm. I trust that implicitly. Mm -hmm. and that, but that's probably because I trust Gary implicitly. Mm. And also because the batteries I've got in there or IMRs. Uh -huh. I'm not sure I would go with unprotected. No. Or anything like that. And mm -hmm. it, it, it does worry me if you start saying unprotected batteries mm -hmm. being bunged into something like that. But everything else I've got is single battery mm -hmm. and everything else I've got does the job I want it to do. Yes. It's like your lava chip. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. I cannot see the point for me, and it, this is, it, it's purely me, purely me. I can't see the point in me going to stack batteries when I get exactly what I need. Yes, that's the same with me, exactly the same. Plus as well, the me, me little X star sits <coughs> there, you know, and it, it takes me in, in 650s and it does a grand job as well. Well, exactly, yes. yes. My, my, uh, I like my, my little X star sitting yeah. here as well, <laughs> yes. And batteries get flopped in there on yes. a night. And and just, just so everybody knows, so there's no mistake, I leave my batteries on charge overnight. So do I. If you've got a charger, that is a proper charger, you have no need to worry. If yes. you've got a cheap and nasty one, on the other hand, that keeps on pumping voltage in when your batteries are charged, then you do need to take them out. Yes. But if you've got a good one, X-Star charger, um, it's not an issue. It'll just work and just work very nicely indeed. Mm -hmm. And mine, I just put them on charge when I go to bed and that's it. Leave it alone. Much the, much the easiest way to go. <laughs> Tell you what, we take some adverts and then when we get back, I want to have a look at this Oh, yes, yes. This pink thing. The pink thing. Which is nowhere near as pink as I thought no, it was. No, that's what... No, In fact, if, if, I may, if I may, I would go so far as to say that without messing about, this is fuchsia. Yeah. That's, it's not pink no. that I'm saying is fuchsia. Mm -hmm. This is definitely, that's definitely fuchsia. Yes. And on that bombshell, we're going to be away for one minute and 39 seconds <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk a bit more when we come back until then be very good and not naughty see you in one minute and 39 seconds
Save the Six. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. You know what? Welcome back. I hate it when chat scrolls up too fast for me to catch what yes. it was, but apparently the, the, the guy with the e site that we were talking about before, he's a, a respiratory therapist, not a full doctor. So has he just given himself that title, do you think? I, I, I don't know. I don't I even don't know what even, a respiratory therapist I've, is. I've never heard of a respiratory therapist before that. It's probably somebody that massages your lungs. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's true. That's very true. Lung massage? Yes. Yes, specialising in 36D. Never heard of a respiratory therapist. It's a new one on me, a respiratory therapist. Is we'll have to Google it after. You, you're is that a, you're a devil for Google, yeah. aren't you? Devil for Google. If no day goes by, I don't use that. I'm, uh, well, I, I'm, I'm <laughs> saying nothing. I'm going to put those to one side okay. and I want, I want to pick this yes. beastie up and uh, see whether or not we can get a nice close-up on it. Where's me? Me hoofa doofa. It's, it's, this is, oh, I might as well, they'll see it anyway. We'll switch to that shot there and I'll use the hoofa doofa in me hand to zoom in mm -hmm. a little more if it'll focus. Will it focus? There it is. There we go. There we go. It's, um, I have to say, it is remarkably nicely put together. It is, it is very nice. I mean, when I was speaking to the guy at uh, Volcano, it is version two. Mm -hmm. But I w I'm led to believe that it's a version two, which they're aware that there's still improvements to be made. Now, um, since having it, well, I haven't even had it. Um, I got it home in my other half, went, oh, that looks nice. And uh, said, will you be using that? And I went, no, not really. And he says, well, I'll take it to work. So I haven't really had the chance to uh, to have a look, but the only feedback I've had is it has been tending to switch itself off. Has it indeed? Yes, which I don't know if it may be to do with the spring. I wish I had me, me really closey up my glasses on, mm. because you can actually, I don't know whether folks will be able to see, probably not. There, there you go. go, look. You can actually see the circuit board. Mm -hmm inside there yes and i think if i had me little super duper closey up he can mm -hmm. i would be able to see what was going on inside there mm -hmm. but i will get in that close shot up again whoops that away david um you can see the thickness of the the alloy in the base of that mm -hmm. i mean that is it is very very much like a textured silver bullet yes and the button looks very much like a silver bullet. Doesn't feel like one though. No. No, doesn't feel like a silver bullet no. button. Um, but that, I mean, there's, there's plenty of metal in that. What I like about it, in comparison to the original lava tube, like my, uh, the chrome one that I was using, it, which I picked up with Kat, um, the to measure the resistance is much easier on mm -hmm. this than the old lava tube, because I believe the old lava tube you had to get it right and push the plus and minus together, and it didn't always work. It's difficult. It is. Now, on that, it's very easy because all you got to do is hold the plus button down three to, uh, for three seconds and yes. it'll read it. And it reads it pretty pretty much okay because we, we measured it on that and we measured it. I can't remember um, what, what else we, we measured it on. It might have been a dog, but anyway, it, it measured more or less the same on the other, other device. So... Um, it was good for that. It also measures the, the battery voltage the same way with the, the minus button. Mm -hmm. um, and generally, you know, it, it's, it's, it's nice to vape on. Are you looking for something to put on it? I was, yeah. You can use the bin. I'll use the bin. Thank you very much. It's a bin. Gold bin. It's a bin. Gold bin. Take some screwing on it, though. Pardon? <laughs> Take some, some screwing to get it on. Are you allowed to say that? <laughs> Well, I much prefer screwing to pulling it off. Yeah, well, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, but we've used that title. Be have you bent this? The bin? Yeah. Well, I don't know. I've just yeah, you have. Have I bent it? It's bent. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, you know why that is? Because when my lava tube committed suicide off the bench, and oh. it's never been right since. Oh, right. Yes, yeah, so it is. But Sav did give me a spare. Thanks, Sav. So you hold down the plus, and 
it's telling me 1.8 ohms. Yeah. It's identical, in fact, to the way the VAMO works. Mm -hmm. So it's VAMO Electronics. Yes. And it's the same display. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask the question, what juice you have in here? Serenity or Love Potion. But it's not coconut ice, so don't worry well, about As long that. as it's got no menthol in. No. Well, I'll give it a try. Did you up the voltage because it might be a three? It is a three? Mm. God, that's sweet. Yeah, that's love potion. Then. Love potion? Yeah. Yeah. And where does where does love potion come from? That comes from the raw collection. It's raw, is it? It's raw. Ah. That's actually one of their, from, originally from Vapotopia. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Vapotopia, R.I.P. 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 Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Love Potion. Love Potion. And it's a blend of this one, I think, if Andy Sutton's around, I think it's pear and coconut. I mm -mm. think. Mm -mm. No? Mm -mm. One of the, no. That's raspberry and coconut, I know, because that one's Serenity. But I can't remember what that one is. There's apple. It, no, no, it's pear. It pear. I think it's pear, pear and coconut. There's no coconut. Is. No, you, they, they, I'm sure there is, but you can't really taste it. Mm. Yeah, I was right. Look, pear and coconut. Andy he something just pour it in. Well, there's no coconut in there that mm. I can taste, and that usually the coconut comes flying through. Yeah. But there's there's a definite taste of pear drops in amongst that little mm. lot. But that button actually is 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 very very comfortable. Um, yes. And it's it's very nice. It feels nice in the hand. It's chunky. Yeah. And it's got a strap, a little hole to put lanyard yes, in. Yes, it has. We'll, um, have to, we'll have to try and show that. The, I mean, uh, I forgot, if we can get there. forgot to mention that Just in the video. There, and I think it comes, the full kit comes with a lanyard for it as well. So you can put a lanyard through it and dangle it from your breast. Oh, yes. From round your neck. Absolutely. You never lose it. There, there you go. I mean, that never is it in, in precise close-up. Look at that. That's as big as you're ever going to see it. Mm -hmm. And that, I'm telling you as well... Um, I'm looking at, at what's going out in terms on the monitor and that is exactly the same colour as what I'm holding yeah, in my hand. absolutely. Um, so it's not in your face pink? No, it's definitely a metallic fuchsia. Yes, absolutely. Without in, in, any shadow of a doubt, a in, metallic fuchsia. I mean, they've got a range, they've got, I think they've got all the colours in now. They've got blue, they've got gold. The, the, the silver one is very, looks very nice. Um, they've got a black and they've got the red. The red one looks really nice as well. They all look nice. They really do. They all look nice. It's a good chunky mod. Yes. It's definitely a good chunky mod. And it, it feels nice in the hand. Absolutely. It'll be interesting to see a little further down the road how that works out for you. Yeah. I mean, as I say, I haven't really had a chance to use it, but it's it's not had bad feedback. Unfortunately, as I say, it might just be the spring. It's switched it off a couple. It's switched off a... A couple of times uh, which we don't know why yet but it's been absolutely brilliant you know great little first mod it's not not there's no, no rattle it's in that no rattle. it's not a rattle it's great little, but it's been great for a little first mod indeed mm -hmm. and that, that that bim is performing the way you like it is it no <laughs> hence why i put the mt3 I, I like the bim it's my first rebuildable that i've used mm -hmm. um and I got, I couldn't sleep one night and I got up and at about half past five in the morning I thought, right, I'm going to make my own coil. Right. Because the coils that came with the bin, because the bin comes with everything, comes with a load of, uh, load of wig, load of coil, but it comes with ready-made as well. Yeah. And the resistance on the ready-made ones was 2.6, which I found a bit much. Mm -hmm. So I made my own coil, which was at the 1.8, 1.9. And it's been fine, but the last couple of days it's not been performing well on the, the Z-Max. Right. And every now and again it'll just not produce it or not it's not it fires but it doesn't produce the vapor that it should and i keep thinking i've flooded it and sometimes i haven't flooded it sometimes i'm just getting like maybe a burnt taste so i don't know if it's if it's just the fact that it's a, a lower resistance coil right i say i say i say well while you were doing that i don't know whether i was on camera or not but you might have seen me getting uh a dual coil cartonizer out. Yes. That's somewhere between 1.5 and 2 ohms because mm -hmm. that's really, really sweet. It is. And I'm just going to give you a, a juice that's brand new to the market. Right. That I haven't even tasted yet. And it's um, it's 
come up from Surface, I bought it, paid money for this from Surface Sigs, and it's RY5 from Hang Seng. Right. Now, I know a little bit about RY5, because the RY5 that comes from Dekang, I know the man that invented it. Yes. So do you. I do. You do. I'm sitting here. Oh, yes, but of course. <laughs> Well, it is nearly the end of the week, forgive me. <laughs> it is, absolutely. That is now full. And it's brand new. It's never, be, whoops, never been used. So there you are, clag it onto whatever. Like I say, I've never tasted it, so I've no clue what this Hang Sen one is like. And when you've had a drag, I shall have a drag as well. And we'll see whether it's anything like the original RY5. And I want to know what you make of it before I have a blast of it. That bad? I could taste tobacco. Well, yeah. Mainly, that's the, the main flavour that I get out, but it's like, it's nice, but because I'm, I'm used to sweeter flavours, mm -hmm. there's no sweetness there, to me. Do you mind um, if I crank it up but, a little bit? Yeah, that's fine. Um, but I was going to say, um, it reminds me of if you imagine a, a cigarette that's not lit, mm -hmm. and if you took a, a drag and you can taste the tobacco, like raw tobacco, mm -hmm. that's that's exactly what I get off it. Try that now. Like I say, I've, I've had no input to that one at all. It'll be producing. <laughs> yeah. I get tobacco. It is. I do. I, I, I get, but it's but the closest because I tend to steer away from tobacco flavors now. Really? But it's yeah, because I could never find a tobacco flavor that tasted as close to tobacco. But that's the closest that I've probably tasted to tobacco. It's it is. Um, I think it's very like a rolly. Yes. Exactly. I couldn't place it, but that is exactly what it's like. But it's more like, because I used to roll my own, uh -huh. and it's more like, I want to say like a drum or a turner, which is which was a stronger hand-rolled tobacco than like something like Virginia or Amber Leaf. Oh, it's definitely not mild. Yeah, it's not mild at all. It's definitely a harsher, like a harsher tobacco. But it, it's excellent for throat hit. Really good throat hit on it. Is it? Yeah. Keep on going. D Talk to the camera, tell the people, because I'm filling this other one with RY6. Right. Well, um, it's got a really good throat here. I don't normally like tobacco, but this isn't bad. If you forgot what it's like to have a cigarette, you would probably be reminded of this. Definitely, I would say. You even get... It's starting to come through as if it was a lit, now like a lit cigarette. And right. I even get a smoky aroma. And I've never, ever tasted anything with a smoky aroma. Never. And the more I vape on it, the stronger it's getting as mm. well. It's really coming through now. Yeah, that's that. That's really pleasant. That is really pleasant. That's the RY6. And to be fair, I suppose really, you ought to clag it into the uh, yeah. in, into the, um, the lava thing. tube at the, uh, at the same voltage, as it were. And I'm looking for another device. I'll use this one. That is lovely. Uh, and the first, the first thing I get off that is caramel. Really? Mm hmm Okay. I get coffee. Yeah, not caramel, coffee. But it's not overpowering. It's really, it's like a blend of coffee and tobacco together. It's not really overpowering. And what I would use that for is an after dinner vape. Mm -hmm. That would definitely be an after dinner vape. Um, and I don't find it foul, which I have with some tobaccos. 
It wouldn't be an everyday vape, but it would definitely be something that I would put on the list. Well, like I say, these are the, the brand new in, um, and they arrived yesterday. Right. Uh, they went they went up on the site on Tuesday, mm -hmm. and I ordered them up. And this this uh, RY five, to me, the taste is very very much like a hand rolled licorice papered roly mm. with no filter in it. Yeah. It's got that. There's just that little level of of, of sweetness. Mm -hmm. Um, but not enough to overpower, just like the sweetness you get yeah. from the licorice paper. And I see Russell Webster's asking, who's the RY6 by? They're both Hang Sen, and they're both available from Safer Sigs. They just come in on the Safer Sigs site. Um, 30 mil bottles, and, and you will need a pair of scissors to get into them. They are uh, tamper-proofed yeah. to the ex tamper-proof and dave-proof. Right. pair of scissors I snapped a nail trying to get in <laughs> otherwise exactly the kind of packaging that you would expect um, from Dars at Safer Sigs and, and the ingredients are there propylene glycol glycerin water flavouring and nicotine mm. and this is the 36 milligram so out of the two the, the RY5 and the RY6 and it's the RY6 you've got on there now which, mm. do, you, which do you prefer? it's hard it's really hard because I've never had a, a, a cigarette si for nearly a year and that really reminded me of like you say a hand rolled tab mm. um, and the RY6 was like a I would say the RY6 purely and simply because I tend not to go for tobacco flavours because I've, I've got so much more adventurous with flavours now and the RY6 with, with the coffee is nice it's really nice with the coffee mm. that, yeah. would, that would be yes I'm, I'm liking both of those yeah. I think from I think from the point of view of somebody that uh, is just coming across, they would work really well and be very, very reminiscent yeah. of, uh, of what they would just... Because I'm trying to do a beginnery thing in every yeah. show, and I think these would be very, very good for beginners. And um, those... If, I would say the RY5, the RY if you've got somebody who's never tried vaping, that would be the ideal juice to give somebody who's never... who's who's currently smoking who wants to try vape and mm. that would be the ideal juice to give them it's not unpleasant at all no that 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 ry6 is definitely more coffee yes it's it, to me that's an after dinner to me that would be like an after dinner vape or yeah. it would be like uh, i could say that to me that would be something like sitting in a hotel or you know sitting with people it would be like a sociable vape yes to me um, it wouldn't be an everyday vape, but the RY5, I could see that being an everyday vape to a lot of people. Yes, I think they're on a winner there. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll take the tops off those mm -hmm. and allow them to steep, steep for a while. I don't know whether it does anything or nothing. Have you ha oh, you haven't tried Grand Vanilla Custard yet, have no, you? No, I haven't tried Grand Vanilla Custard you'll yet. You'll be happy to know that I've ordered 100 mil, so I'll be bringing it along. Oh, you'll be bringing some up, will you? Yes. Good. I've heard it stinks the place it's out. It's fabulous. It's, it's, it's that good, is it? <laughs> and actually, that's brought we're up to time. We've got to go. Already. It is that time already. It's time to say goodbye. Um, doesn't time fly when you're Don't. enjoying yourself? Say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. We'll bye. see you next time. Cheerio. Bye.